Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is about how you can update uh, your Magento products. So there is a specific question about how you can update the quantity uh, value in your product. So this is a basic Magento installation that I, that I just made and I'm going to show you in C Sharp how you can update uh, the quantity. It's pretty simple. Uh, using this connector that I made for YouTube tutorials. So there's I haven't made an update for a while So I'm gonna make an update today. And as you can see here, this is the solution uh, This is the connector and here's my call right here So I'm gonna update product quantity that specific uh, value so what you need to do is just set up your token your base URL that I'm using here and as you can see I'm grabbing those values from the configuration manager and from there on I'm creating I have a class that I made which is this one down here the M.2 product is this class that's the main class this one so I made an, another class called uh, skew update uh, and in this one has a property for stock item and then this is what I'm gonna be passing in my JSON and I'll show you the JSON you'll see what I mean by having this JSON property here and then what you need to do is to have that class that's what you're gonna push to Magento and here your stock item so here I have three I'm gonna make this one uh, 50, 63 uh, my item ID it's one and I'm gonna say is in stock true so you can set a couple things um, in this call what you need for sure is your item ID you need to have that and in my case since it's just a basic catalog here I my product is one so you pass that and then here I'm just passing I could make it false but I'm gonna add that extra value there and then once you have your item then you can say okay update this SKU and here's my stock item which is that SKU and then in my call right here I'm gonna say update product quantity I'm gonna pass the item that I want to update and the SKU name as you can see it's called product one so if I go here my SKU is product one That's my skew. So you need to pass the skew value, whatever you have here, you need it. If not, it's not gonna work. And then to make the call, we go down to Magento right here. You can see how you're composing the request. So you're saying products, your skew name, skew name is this one, product one then stock items, the ID, and then the method for this one in your token. Then what you do is you serialize that object, as you can see here, and then you're gonna pass that as a request body in the, in the body basically of your call. So I'm gonna run this, and let me see, I'm gonna make 63, I'm gonna make the call, and I'm gonna pause it here. And then we're gonna refresh Magento, uh, the product page, see if that works. So, okay, we're gonna send it out. And that's, I'm gonna pause it here so you can see that JSON going out. Whoa. This is what you really need. You don't need a lot of, uh, of the properties of the stock item class. As long as you have this JSON in your body, you can submit it without doing all that extra work that's all you need but as you remember i said about the stock item you see here how the uh, the parent we could say it's stock item that's the class that i'm using which was uh, over here see this stock item so that's what i'm doing here and let me go back and then I'm passing the ID and a quantity and if it's 
in stock true or false you don't need this one but I'm just adding another one to show you that you can add more properties if you want to update so we're gonna hit submit and then check the status it's okay so that you can do whatever check you want here but I'm just doing that if it's okay just return a boolean which is true so I'm gonna finish that 63 now we're gonna check the product on a refresh and as you can see quantity 63 so you could do this all day I mean you can just do another one so show you that it's actually working I'm not gonna pause this just let it go it's done so refresh again 63 what's now now it's 6396 so as you can see it's pretty simple so I'll post this to the github page uh, make sure you refresh your repository so you can get the latest or the last call that I make here basically this is what I made this is the new on this code and on the class this is the new code basically so hopefully this will help uh, someone trying to update uh, their products and you can update this value too in stock you can say out of stock in the same way I was doing it so there's more properties that you can update you you can in, uh, change the price uh, the product and you can change anything actually that the API allows so let me know if you have any questions uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching